In this lecture, we are going to learn how to fill in the blanks of the reading module. Well, the, there are two types of blank. The name of the first type is reading and writing fill in the blanks and the second one is simple one, reading fill in the blanks. Why they have written reading and writing fill in the blanks? Because this question contributes to reading and writing module. So that's why reading and writing. Okay, so first I will show you the interface and then what we will do, we will uh, start with the uh, overview part. I'll discuss all the things, important things and then we will jump on to the strategy part. Okay, our uh, tips, whatever um, things I teach to my students, I'll discuss all those and then I will do some three, four samples also in front of you. Okay, guys. So let me show you the interface first. So the moment this question is on the screen, your timer will start and how you are going to get this, uh, this question, you will have a passage with like five or six blanks and uh, you need to fill those blanks. How? You have to click on the drop down menu or let's say this uh, arrow and you will get all the four options. You have to choose one option. Okay. So likewise, you will get five or six passages or questions and in every passage you will have five or six blanks the overall number could be 20 could be 25 could be 24 it depends what should be your target your target should be to answer at least 21 out of 24 correctly in the same way let's say 17 or 18 out of 20 correctly so if you uh, score this much it will be very easy for you to score 80 plus you answer 4 or 5 incorrectly, the probability of getting 79 plus will be reducing. Okay, will be, you know, comparatively less. And uh, if you are not doing good in this particular question type, then it becomes very important to do very good in read loud and highlight incorrect word of the listening module. So do not leave your reading module uh, on your uh, read loud and highlight incorrect word. Okay, try to do good here. And uh, even though I am going to, you know, discuss few rules here, or I'm going to give you some five, six tips. I would still say that practice as much as you can. Why? Because with practice only you can improve. You cannot just listen my lecture and feel like okay you uh, you know you are expert now even if you know the rule still you know you should have habit of you know thinking in that way okay you cannot just recollect everything as at the last moment by learning something and recollecting at the last moment is not going to work and it has never worked for anyone so practice as much as you can that's a very basic and important rule whatever other rules are there they are not you know that much important and the best way is practice if you answer anything incorrectly try to find the reason why your word is incorrect let's say if i'm selecting this one now let's say after you know submitting it if i get to know okay this is incorrect why this is incorrect okay if i select this one why this is correct if this is correct then why this is correct do not you know answer something uh by guessing uh, the word and if even if you have guessed it and your answer is correct find the reason analyze your mistake that will help you much more than you know any lecture or any teacher okay so now i'll brief you about the question well about everything related to this question okay so now i'm going to brief you everything so the first thing you have to keep in mind is that the task is what fill in the blanks you need to fill the blanks okay that is the task well you have the idea as i have shown you the interface then guys uh, about the skills they are checking your reading comprehension skills then they are checking your vocabulary skills okay then they are checking your grammar they are checking your logical reasoning everything and because of these skills, your reading and writing modules are getting assessed. That is the reason here. Why uh, this question contributes to reading and writing? They are not just checking whether your answer is correct or not. Sometimes they will give you two words 
correct words okay two words and both will be kind of correct so in that case you have to select the most appropriate one so they are checking your logical reasoning your grammar your vocabulary your comprehension skills and that's why it contributes to both these okay then guys about uh, the number of passages you will get maybe four maybe five maybe six it depends usually students tell me like they got five or six passages how many blanks you are going to get five to ten blanks well ten is very rare usually five to six blanks okay so i won't say like you know exactly ten i won't say exactly five sometimes there are seven also keep that in mind and then time to answer there is no such restriction but the target to complete a passage should be 2 minutes or 2 minutes 30 seconds why now here i would explain uh, you know one thing in detail so see guys uh, let's say if you are getting five passages and if you are taking 3 minutes to answer every passage you are going to going to you know waste 15 minutes now multiple choice let's say if you have answered it in one minute so 16 minutes you are going to get let's say three reorder paragraphs you need at least two minutes so six okay 15 plus 1 16 plus 6 22 so far the count is 22 you are going to get at least five other types of blank and you need two minutes so 5 into 2 10 so 22 plus 10 it is your 32 and now you just have one minute for your one multiple choice so the count will be 33 now why i said like you know three minutes here well in why i am saying two and half in the lecture and now i am saying if you take three minutes the thing is sometimes you may get you know uh, these three uh, instead of five you may get six what you will do in that case if you get six then this time count will be 18 now you count 18 plus 1 19 plus 6 25 okay then what 35 you will be having 33 minutes overall you can't uh, you know uh, you won't be able to even attempt your one multiple choice and then even one blank so if number of questions are less then time also will be less keep that in mind it's not like for five questions 33 minutes and for six also 33 okay it depends so target is what target is two and half minute okay after that scoring well one point for every correct answer now it is very difficult to tell like what is the exact you know uh, what are the exact marks maybe 58 maybe 60 out of 60 maybe 35 you're reading 35 you're writing because it depends on number of questions and uh, also like uh, you know there is no such clear thing mentioned on the website okay whether it is of overall the you know uh, your this particular question type is of 60 marks or 58 usually they say like 58 58 59 in, in that range okay so one would be of one point and accordingly they will you know award you the marks now coming to your tips part the very first rule is that read the entire passage first get the idea about the content it is very important you should not just you know look at the blank and try to answer it read the entire passage first for example now here do not just focus on you know i am going to give you the, this one in a little different way so first read it in the realm of quantum mechanics particles exhibit dash that seem counterintuitive to our classical uh, understanding one such phenomena is it, so they are talking about this one is dual nature of light where it behaves both as a particle now they are talking about light here fine this duality has been a subject of dash for decades now particles exhibit what particles exhibit traits 
emotions, colors, songs. This is about what? This is about your, uh, you know, mechanics. Will like in physics, do particles exhibit songs? Do they exhibit color? Do they exhibit emotion? Do they exhibit traits? Now, even if well, I am going to discuss this point also. But I am sure these three cannot be my answer. Why? Even if you don't know traits, still you can say like, okay, they don't, uh, particles don't, you know, exhibit, they don't show song, color, emotion, traits. The meaning of traits is what kind of, you know, characteristics or properties. So what is my correct answer here? Traits. Now with this itself, I got the idea. Okay, what is the topic? This one. In this topic, what is the, there is no meaning of song, color or emotion. Then, one such phenomenon is the dual nature of light where it behaves both as a particle and as a dash and as a what now what is written here as a what as a wave as a ocean as a sound as a car what is this thing mechanics physics car it doesn't make sense sound particle behaves uh, well, uh, dual nature of light. Light behaves as a particle and a sound. Light behaves as a particle and a ocean. Light behaves as a particle and a wave. You might have read in, you know, class 11 or class 12. So, correct answer here is wave. This duality has been a subject of dash for debate for decades. Means they are talking about time. I got the idea has been a subject of dash, has been a subject of debate, enjoyment, dance, food, totally unrelated, totally unrelated, enjoyment. This is a like technical ac academic topic. Enjoyment for decades, no. A debate for de decades. Okay. So, duality of light, they, they are talking about light here, no relation at all. So, means the moment you read like quantum mechanics so you will expect technical words here all other words are what all other words are uh, non-related they are odd one out awkward odd words you can easily you know eliminate them in the exam you will not get this much simple but still i hope you have got the idea i wanted to you know uh, teach you like you have to first get some idea okay what is the topic so that mentally you are ready for it okay what kind of you know vocabulary I know you, uh, I will be getting for a particular you know blank okay so this is a tip one always read get the idea okay what is the topic get the idea about it do not you know just start just like that keep that in mind okay then guys coming to second one the second tip, uh, tip is look for grammatical clues this is very important keep noun verb adjective everything in mind for example despite the challenges faced the athlete's determination was dash he did not let failures dash his spirit okay he did not let dash uh, he did not let failures dash his spirit now despite the challenges faced the athlete determination was dash now read all the options unwavering happy jumps and car now if you go with unhappy uh, this one unwavering uh, what it means steady this means steady this means resolute something fixed okay now happy the athlete's determination was happy it doesn't fit in the context the athlete determination was jumps this is totally you know incorrect determination okay this one well first of all it should not be in the list totally uh, in incorrect one so i need to decide between your unwavering and happy and grammatically this one only makes sense okay then what is the second one he did not 
let failures dash his spirit. He did not let failures dash his spirit. What are the different options here? First is dampen. Now, dampen means to reduce something, to lessen something. Okay. Then, his spirit means he did not uh, let his spirit to go down. This is dampen. Dampen means, you know, reduce. So, yes, it can be. He did not let failure celebrate. Now, I need some kind of verb here. If I have to say he did not let failures reduce his spirit, celebrate. Well, celebrate is incorrect, but still celebration is all, it is totally incorrect. Celebration doesn't fit at all. This is a noun here. Okay, this is a noun here. So it doesn't fit at all. Then guys, third one, rain. Now rain is also in, incorrect. So it doesn't fit. It did not let uh, failures rain his spirit. The fourth one, clearly his spirit. It also doesn't make any sense at all. So, what you understand here, that if you know the meaning, then you just need to go with what? Now, he did. I Let's say if dampen is not there. If there is option like reduce, celebrate, increase, reduce increase sometimes they will say reducing also okay they will say reducing also they will say reduce also so keep you know your sentence form in mind and uh, then look for like in that sentence what will fit noun will fit verb will fit adjective will fit so then only you know you will be able to answer correctly clearly here is what Clearly is what clearly is your adverb here. It doesn't fit at all after this failures word. It doesn't fit after clearly. Okay. Then uh, rain doesn't fit at all. It is, uh, it, it doesn't fit here. Okay. This one is grammatically wrong. This doesn't fit here. Celebration with celebration also same. Celebration also after failure doesn't fit at all. So grammatically this is, um, both these can be eliminated. We have only dampen. So look for what grammatical clues. Check whether your answer is grammatically correct or not. Noun, verb, adjective, adverb. Keep those things in mind. Okay guys, then the third one. Go with the elimination strategy. Now, what is the elimination strategy? So see here. The Renaissance period, spanning roughly from 11th to the 17th century, witnessed a dash of interest, witnessed a dash of interest in the arts, resurgence, diminution, transmission, coloration. Now, witnessed may be some kind of increase, increase, okay, or decrease. One of these words. Now. Because I understood the context, what he is trying to say, it either increase or decrease. Okay. Now, I am thinking in that way. Uh, but let's say if I do not understand the meaning of, uh, you know, particular word or let's say two words or three words. Then eliminate. Now, I will try to eliminate. Let's say if I am able to eliminate two incorrect answers, the probability of selecting one correct word from two is much more than selecting one out of four. That is my theory here. Now, what is the diminution here? Diminution means a reduction or decrease. Uh, okay. Diminution is what? A reduction or decrease. If you knew the meaning, fine. Otherwise, you would have faced problem here. Now, what is written here? Spanning roughly, witness a dash in the arts. It acted as a bridge between the medieval and dash age, making significant advancement in. So, means we are getting something like a positive vibe here. Okay, we are getting some positive vibe here. Like, they are saying, they are hinting like it increased. So, resurgence is the closest one. Okay, increase. Let's say if you do not know diminution, leave it. Okay, transmission. 
okay right now uh, if you do not know diminution leave it resurgence maybe because surge word is there so resurgence i am sure like uh, you are aware of this diminution fine leave it transmission witness the transmission if it is transmission then there should be like transmission from x to y something like that now witness the transmission and transmission in the arts transmission from where so it doesn't make sense at all witness the coloration it doesn't make sense at all here so i can eliminate number three and number four now if i can eliminate number three and number four so what are the words left now resurgence and diminution and now re diminution how if i have to select research uh, if i have to select one out of two i will go for resurgence why because at least i know like there is they are discussing something positive and resurgence is a positive word so even if i am not sure still probability of selecting one out of these two is much more than selecting one out of these four so i will go with the first one resurgence witnessed a resurgence then the second one it detected as a bridge between the dash uh, well medieval era and the dash age making advancement in various disciplines now the again uh, you know go with eliminate approach modern maybe yes this one and stone age maybe if they are comparing they may compare these two okay let's say aquatic gilded no it doesn't make sense at all so one out of four or one out of two okay now if you do not know if you do not know well first of all uh, it's very important you know to uh, very important to know the meaning otherwise you would be in trouble okay now i said like gilded so i cannot exactly say you know gilded can be eliminated why because even gilded also refers to some time period okay some time period gilded means is generally referred as late 19th century uh, you know uh, american time period now let's say if you do not know the meaning and you are not sure whether uh, this word is appropriate one or not so we can eliminate word aquatic this is totally like related to water so this is gone now modern stone gilded so can we go for stone here no why we can't go for stone because here it is written medieval the stone itself is you know prehistoric so if they are comparing they won't be comparing same uh, time period right this is also prehistoric this is also prehistoric i'll eliminate this one also i am left with modern and gilded if you don't know the gilded one at least probability is now much more than the earlier one one out of four or one out of two i will go for your modern only why there is a chance at least i am sure like you are aware of this word this is like prehistoric one okay time period time period so they will be comparing the earlier time period with the modern one so we will go with the modern one here you may not get correct answer but eliminate approach will do what will increase the probability of answering a particular word you know correctly and guys i am just you know i'm uh, giving these simple examples just to show you in it's not like you will get difficult only sometimes you will get we get something simple also and still like why students are not able to answer correctly because in the exam they panic they do not follow rules they do not follow rules if pt is easy then everyone should score 70 plus but usually the scores are in the range of 65 66 67 in ielts we all score 6.5 if pt is easy then our score should be 7.5 7.5 means 75 76 but that is not the average in pt why this is the reason highlight incorrect word the most easy uh, question still students make mistake fill in the blanks the mo second most easy question still students are making mistake then essay writing here students can write you know 100% memorized essay you need to write 200 words out of 200 now earlier i was giving 160 170 words to my students just you know i was telling them to write on their own 
Nowadays, I'm giving them 220. I'm saying, okay, whatever you can write on your own, write it. Still, like their writing score is not, you know, good here. In uh, their writing is in the range of like 66, 67, or 70. So, uh, like uh, seven bands only. If PT is easy, then why students are not scoring 7.5, 8 here? Because they, it is easier to score 6.5 compared to IELTS. But if someone says, okay, if PT is easier, I'll score 7.5. No, you have to, you know, focus. You have to keep few basic things in mind. Then only you can score 7.5 or let's say 75. Then guys, the next rule. Keep a group of words, pair of words, collocations in mind. For example, John has always had a dash for music. From a young age, he could pick up any instrument and dash a tune. Here it looks like they are talking about his, you know, skills. Like he can just pick any instrument and play it. Okay. Now let's go with our blank first. John always had an had an dash for music ear for music eye for music hand for music foot for music and ear for music now it is a common collocation it means like you know ability to understand and produce music okay so an eye for music means like your ability, skills to understand and produce music. So in this context, your air will be correct. Okay, this one will be correct. Now, if you go with the second one, if I write an, then if I say an I far. Now, if you keep the I here, it is also up to some extent correct, but not in this context. And an I for is a phrase and uh, it is usually used in, uh, you know, context like uh, uh, we sometimes say an I for detail, an I for design. It is used in those contexts. For music, I'll go for air only. Okay. So, hand for music and hand, no, and foot. Okay. I can easily eliminate hand and foot. Let's say if you say, okay, I do not know idiom, I do not know phrase. Fine. Still like you can eliminate two. What? Uh, hand and foot, you can eliminate. It's written hand. And air for music and eye for music. I am sure if you are not aware of, you know, the collocation, the, the idiom, you, if you don't know like an air for music, what it means, then you won't be answering this one correctly. You are most mostly most other students will select an eye for music okay but again like you know uh, go for educated guess an eye for music an eye for is a phrase is a collocation it is you know used in other context but now you go through a whole uh, uh, sentence an eye for music for music you need air okay so i can be eliminated if you go with air and air for music, it generally means what? It means like your skill, you are so skilled like you can just listen and some, do something like that. Now, second one. From a young age, he could pick up an instrument and dash a what? And dash a tune. And play a tune, write a tune, read a tune, watch a tune. So, he can... Uh, I don't know the technical word for this music industry. He can make a tune. Okay. Now he can watch a tune. Doesn't make sense. He can read a tune. No. He can pick an instrument and you know what? And produce that uh, tune. So what is the nearest one here? Write? No. Read? No. Play only. Means he can take an instrument and just do it like that. So you, you should go with what? Play only. Okay. So in and uh play i selected play based on the context like you are taking any musical instrument what you will do you will say okay i produce it or i can also do it means you can also do something similar play a tune but play a tune is another common expression it is used like you know uh in uh, this one musical instrument uh, context 
सो दिस इज कॉमन यू नो वर्ड प्ले अ ट्यून ओके प्ले अ ट्यून इज अ कॉमन फ्रेज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री लाइक यू कैन डू सम यू इफ यू से आई कैन ऑल्सो प्ले आई कैन प्ले अ ट्यून इट मीन्स आई कैन ऑल्सो प्ले अ ट्यून लाइक दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो डू समथिंग लाइक दैट ओके देन द नेक्स्ट रूल बेसिक ग्रामर वेल दिस वन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी सिंपल लाइक वेल दिस इज वन इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी सिंपल वट एवर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव गिवन योर पैसेज इज गोइंग टू बी लिटिल डिफिकल्ट द डॉग्स नो वट इज रिटर्न हेयर द डॉग्स एंड वट आर द डिफरेंट वर्ड्स वैगिंग वैग वैग्ड टू वैग सो वट दिस वन वेन दे आर हैप्पी इट्स वन ऑफ देयर वेज ऑफ डैश देयर इमोशंस ऑफ शो नो वे ऑफ शोड नो वे दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रेजेंट सिंपल ऑफ एंड टू नो वे आई कैन एलिमिनेट दिस ऑफ शोइंग विथ ऑफ यू कैन यू विल डू वट यू विल गो विथ यू नो शोइंग ओनली द फर्स्ट वन द फर्स्ट वन ऑफ शोइंग इट इज प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल ओके सेकेंड वन शो इट इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्क इट डजेंट फिट हेयर देन शोड अगेन लाइक इट डजेंट फिट वाई बिकॉज द होल सेंटेंस इज यूर इन प्रेजेंट कॉन्टेक्स्ट लाइक इट इज इन यूर पास्ट टू शो दिस इज इन इन्फिनेटिव फॉर्म इट डजेंट फिट इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टू शो टू प्रपोजिशन यू आर यूजिंग the statements the passage may not be simple like this but sometimes students are getting simple blanks like this they are getting okay so if i have to summarize i will say that keep context in mind keep eliminate approach in mind grammar in mind and sometimes refer sentences if you have to answer let's say you know if you have to answer this particular blank you may have to keep this sentence in mind if you have you may have to uh, keep the next part in mind so again like context in mind okay always read the passage the very first rule so with these six rules you i am sure like you can easily well not with only these six rules with these six rules in mind plus practice i am damn sure you can answer 24 out of 24 correctly so now i am going to practice in front of you so that you get to know what is my approach when i am answering okay so i will also answer i will explain like uh, you know why i am selecting a particular word okay so let's jump on to the practice portal now so the first one for us is 3d bioprinting is a process of 3d printing a biological structure using bio inks consisting of cells and other biological materials this innovation can be used in the medical field for different okay we have transplant patients organ so it means it is related to medical technology or field now this innovation can be used in the medical field for different uh, organ transplant means some kind of you know transplant operation for different purposes processes i am looking for something similar word uh, formalities adoption procedures adaptation now formalities when you are you know operating someone you you can't say like a uh, particular technology a particular formality will be used for that operation no adoption meaning is different procedure yes processes and adaptation it is different so i can eliminate all these three very easily and i'll go with your procedures as of now transplant patients dash the risk of organ rejection and instance where the body recognizes A, a donor organ as foreign body and enlist the immune system to treat it as such okay as of now transplant patients dash raise lost run lived lived the risk of run the risk of lost the risk of and raise the risk of raise doesn't fit in this context now we have lost run and lived now lost the risk, uh, risk of transplant uh, patient dash the risk of so present simple now what is present simple here lived no raise yes but not in the context run the risk of means they always have this uh, you know risk they run the risk of okay 
means they are having this risk. So based on the meaning, I can you know eliminate lost. Based on the tense, I can go eliminate lived. We have race. Based on the sense, we can eliminate race, and the left one is run. I'm uh, this is answer I do not even need to cross check. The da uh, well dash the donor organ is necessary to the patient. Other measures need to be taken to try to stop the immune system from fighting against against it. Dash. Then, since why how I'll go with what. Uh, then then the donor organ is necessary. Okay, there is comma here. Now when you have comma, then you go with what since. Since the donor organ is necessary, other measures. Now, if conditional sentences, if you work hard, comma, you will, uh, you know, pass. Since it was raining, I couldn't come. When X, Y, Z, comma, then again something else. So that is the format. So there is comma here. I'll go with since. Why the donor organ is necessary? Other measures doesn't make sense. How the donor organ? Other measures. Then the donor organ, comma, other measures. So if you let's say go with then then comma here is you know incorrect so it's not like that they have uh, used comma incorrectly so i'll go with what since here then guys the use of bio inks and specialization of 3d bioprinters can dash in less rigorous medical therapies for these patients can dash in less means in less uh, you know rigorous can dash so with can I should go for what I should go for your first uh, you know verb, form of verb result answer question press yes can result why means it is some kind of cause and effect because of something something is happening so can answer no it's not like can answer in less can question in less doesn't make sense can press in less can press far less but again in in this context it is not making sense i'll go with your result then we have the last one uh, 3d bioprinted organs were hypothesized 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 to induce a better response from the immune system than current donor organs do the conclusion that 3D bioprinting can lead to better lifestyles for organ transplant patients and less rejection by the human immune system was reached after research dash after research dash the use okay after research shows head height loss showed after the research showed the use of this one and this one in 3D bioprinting so that's how you need to answer these questions okay this one based on the sense, this one like uh, present simple, this one sentence structure, this one again like uh, uh, your uh, based on tense, this one again based on tense. Okay, let's jump on to next one. Hippopotamus is, a, is Greek for river horse and the animal has been known since ancient dash. Very simple one. Means if you read newspaper, article, something, you know, ancient word times, not generation, not anything else. So, no discussion here. Hippopotamuses are often seen on the banks or sleeping in the water. This one next to grasslands. Hippos are dash adapted to aquatic life. They are well adapted to, maybe, uh, uh, unadjustable, no, well regardless. Okay, the sentence is not like, you know, I can say regardless. They are vague, doesn't make sense. They are well adapted to. The ears, eyes and nostrils are located high on the head so that the rest of the body may remain submerged. The ears and the nostrils can be folded shut to keep out water. The body is so dash that they can walk under water. The body is so dash where they can hold their breath for 5 minutes. Okay. So shallow, smart, it doesn't make sense. Shriyut, well, different meaning. Shallow is also like uh, you know different one dense may be compact so keeping compact in mind I can say dense so that uh, well not compact like kind of I'm including the mass okay so dense uh, although often seen basking in the sun hippos lose water rapidly through the skin and become dehydrated without specific dash they must also okay although seen basking in the sun hippos lose water okay and become dehydrated without periodic what 
intervals without periodic water or something dips table opportunity and this one now without periodic what water for water they have to go in water without periodic dips that's all guys this is how i have to answer based on sense uh, eliminated smart doesn't make sense it means they have to be in, they can be in water for 5 minutes so they can hold their sense so it means it's not like smart shallow doesn't make sense shrewd different meaning so i'm left with dense only and this ancient times well i'm not discussing if you face problem in these type of sentence then it's going to be very difficult these you know fill in the blanks okay guys now i'm jumping to next one okay a bonus of dendrochronology is that the width and substructure of each ring dash the amount of rain each ring shows each ring reflect beam return it shows it reflect okay uh, the rain and the dash at which rain fell during that particular year amount of rain and the speed and the reason and the object so well we have like some more options here uh, and the reason object and the season at which okay means you are getting amount of rain and when uh, it fell down the tree ring studies also allow one to reconstruct dash one to reconstruct what one to reconstruct uh, one to reconstruct present past future current what we are looking for tree rings for what past climate a series of wide rings means a wet period a series of narrow ring means what is this wet it means what it means your dry one okay past dot flood rain so what is a dry dot this one that's all guys okay it was a very easy one it shows a uh, similar meaning reflect and and dash at which rain so the only logical for me is like a uh, reason object market season only season like uh, the particular time of the year when uh, rain it rained okay now next one the six programs represented here report that world word of mouth is by far their most effective recruitment tool particularly because it typically yields candidates who are similar to previously successful candidates moreover satisfied candidates and school systems are likely to dash the word are likely to dash the word without any special dash on the part of their program are likely to read made spread they are likely to uh, you know tell to other means spread the word without any special dash special support effort reject block special support maybe special effort maybe special reject doesn't make sense special block no support or effort without any special effort then other less personal advertising approaches such as radio and television spots and local newspaper advertising advertisements have also proven fruitful especially for newer programs New York uses a print advertising campaign to inspire dissatisfied professionals to become teachers. Subway posters send provocative dash to burned out or disillusioned professionals. Subway posters send provocative what messages, provocative, uh, provocative emails, something like that. Messages edge reps ages what messages? Then tired of diminishing returns invest in new and nyc kids was just one of many medicine avenue inspired invitations news coverage has also proven to be a dash to be a boon to be alternative but it is written a to be okay let's check boon is born blessed boon well it's going to be what boon okay to be an alternative to be a, an advantage to be positive so well positive is not there okay so this is how you have to answer these questions okay keep tense in mind keep uh, you know eliminate approach in mind keep your context in mind that's all guys you will be done well i am saying 21 out of 24 you can even go for uh, 100% correct you know blanks okay let's do one more the the environmental policy does not contribute to profitability in any sense at all 
in practice companies that are well organized and efficient or that are already comfortably profitable uh, that are already comfortably profitable have time to dash and police environmental policies have time to think maintain locate establish lose have time to set have time to establish okay uh, and police this one however if profitable companies are most likely to establish environmental best practices this is a confusing cause with effect it is not that environmental best dash environmental best environmental best what environmental uh, pro project environmental best provide no environmental best practice environmental best concern now what is written causes so well all are you know singular only and why it is not that best and uh, environmental best what project causes profitability provide uh, eliminated promote eliminated only project or practice so they are not talking about you know uh, project here they are talking about the process here okay it is written practice here so i'll go with what environmental best practice but that being profitable allows for dash for the environment allows for dash for the environment allows for maybe some positive or negative but i don't know return for the environment okay but that being profitable allows for support provide concern now see they are talking about you know i am going with the context here it is not that best practice causes profitability but no, the other contrary part, but that being profitable allows for dash for the environment, allows for some, you know, some negative word, allows for the concern for the environment because of this word, but I am going with concern here. They are going to discuss the negative, uh, you know, contrary part after this, uh, you know, uh, connector your but here. So you have to look for these connectors. They have time to dash. They have time to set. They have time to, you know, uh, formulate. How many words are there? Maintain, locate, establish, lose. Maintain. They have to, you know, first draft. They have to first uh, write. They have, something like that. So the only, you know, similar word is establish. Means to set. To like draft. Okay. So this is how I went for establish here. Then you have practice here and concern. So I hope you have got the idea these were very easy you may get little bit difficult also in the exam and uh, i don't know whether you notice or not uh, when i was answering these questions i was speaking loudly first of all i am recording lecture so i have to be a bit louder but whenever i am teaching to my live students also i read this much loud only why because in this way i do not need to worry about my read loud if I'm reading these, I feel like my read loud is getting done. So that's why whenever I practice these fill in the blanks, especially this one, I always read loud. Why? So that, you know, I do not need to practice read loud separately. Okay. That is one thing. Second thing, with the explanation itself, uh, I was able to answer all these blanks within like, you know, I think uh, two or three minutes. I don't think I took more than three minutes in any blank. So if you take more time, you will get less time for uh, the second set of blanks and your score will be getting affected. So two minutes, maximum three minutes, uh, two and a half minutes. That's all. If something is, you know, difficult, go for three, but cover that time in the next one. This is how you have to do. Okay, guys. So that's all. Uh, I discussed all the things like what are some tips and tricks. And then I had done five samples in front of you. Now. If you want to go for another set of examples, the next lecture is here. Otherwise, you can directly jump on to the uh, read, read order, reorder paragraph lecture where I'm teaching like how to reorder different paragraphs in the correct way. And if you want to see uh, me more, you know, doing these uh, fill in the blanks, you can go to the next lecture as well. Otherwise, directly jump to the main lecture that is reorder paragraphs. Okay, that's all guys. Thank you very much.